Welcome to KansasCityAfterHours.com. We're here for another webisode, and uh, you're watching KansasCityAfterHours.com. And of course, you're probably watching this on YouTube, on Facebook, on, well, you can't put video on Twitter. Can you? We'll try that next. We'll, we'll, we'll try it. Might as well. We are here. I, it is my pleasure to have a good friend of mine and a person that is Kansas City through and through, Laurie Roberts. Laurie, welcome. Thank you to my so much. Oh, home it's a pleasure here. to be here. I have watched all of your webisodes, and I'm a little verklempt to be in this chair with you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> I hope I can continue gonna, to raise the bar. You're going to do. You're going to do fine. <laughs> so, so um, the first thing I want to ask you is, is that now you're the you're the senior vice president at Paris Communications. You were in the media. You were the media for many years. Anchor, if you if you don't remember her, she was she was the bomb on, on NBC 41. Thank you know, uh, I watch you all the time. And uh, but making the shift from being behind the scenes, from being in front of the camera, how has that been for you? It really was a seamless transition in my case, in that 17 years in the news media, interviewing people and helping people get their message out. Now I help people craft that message in a, in a way that people could really understand it. And so what we do for our clients is we help them get their message out, we help them get publicity, and in some cases we keep them from getting publicity, depending on what their situation is. Um, but really having been on the other side, I know what kinds of questions reporters will ask. So I often take my clients through a mock interview where I will pose questions in a rapid fire way, just the same way that the media will do it, where you don't always have time to stop and wait and go, think, let me, let me get you my message point on that and look it up. When you're in an interview situation, you have to be able to say what you're trying to say and, and to make it resonate with the audience. Yeah, like so right now, you have no idea what I'm about to ask. I don't, and I love it. But it's like every conversation that we have, Darren. You ask me a question, and I'm going to give you a fabulous answer. Well, you, well and... and, and you do always give fabulous answers, but I do, while you're tooting your own horn, I want to I want to ask you, a, it's, it's kind of a serious question, but sometimes I think it's comical. The media and how it's changed since you first got into the business and where it is now, where I believe that the media, they just want to be their own stars. I mean, everybody's trying to make a star at every network. I, I see these promos of Anderson Cooper. <laughs> I love Anderson Cooper. I Don't think he's there. cool, but it's like, you know, and yeah, then we just lost a great like Walter Cronkite right. who told you the news right. and wasn't worried about image or being you know, the news. Pop. Yeah, being the exactly. news. Exactly. So, so for you, now that you're on the PR side and right. you've been in front of the camera, how is it, right. how do you perceive the media? Well, and I think that a lot of time people are chasing um, a dream of being a network anchor and they're not really committed to their craft. They're committed to moving up to the next level, to the next level. You know, and, and you're not going to get to be Katie Couric or Diane Sawyer unless you work your way up. And so you'll see a lot of market hopping where maybe somebody will start out in a smaller market, get a promotion, move to a bigger market. and. They're really creating or packaging themselves for network because that's their motivation. There are other people in the media who have true desire to tell stories. I loved storytelling. That was the thing that I miss most about being in the news media is meeting average, ordinary, extraordinary people and sharing their stories. What was the name of that, that, that series you used to do? I did uh, Today's Women. Today's Women, yes. right. Okay. In which I featured women in Kansas City who are um, doing amazing things, um, people who are not well-known names. And it was so much fun, and that is how I met my now boss, Roshan Paris. I did a piece on her because she was the lead advance person for Hillary Clinton all eight years of the Clinton White House. She ran a public relations firm in Kansas City while she was visiting 67 different countries with wow. the First Lady. And I just wondered, how can this woman balance all of this and a marriage and children? So I interviewed her. When I lost my job in television, unfortunately, it was front page news. And she was the first person who picked up the phone and called me and said, would you consider a new career? Maybe we could test drive each other and, and play this out and see if you feel good about it and if we feel good about it. And so that career helped launch my new career, which was where I've been the last nine years. I guess when one door closes, That's another right. one opens You have you. to watch. Yeah. You have to watch for those open windows and open doors and then jump right through them. People are normally closing doors on me pretty much No, every they day. do not. It's I like do not believe I'm that at all. I'm for punishment. <laughs> I just keep going no matter what Good. happens. No like matter steam what roll. Happens. Now, uh, what, what does the future hold for you? I mean, are you, are you seem very content doing what you so do. I am so happy. Um, I have the privilege of being involved in a lot of nonprofit work and I'm um, uh, 
on the board or committees of six or seven different organizations here in Kansas City that do good work. And I love being able to take my skills and translate to those to organizations that may not have the money to afford to hire that. So I love doing that. I love doing public relations. I love helping people get their message out. I'm really fascinated by the change in the media, the digital and social media, the YouTube, the Twitter, the Facebook, because that's where people are congregating. So I'm a student of that medium, and I'm out in that medium, as you know. We know. talk on Facebook five times a day when we're not working, <laughs> on our breaks. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> I talk to you probably more than anyone. I know it's true. Anyone, uh, and but you really you use that though. It's not just for fun. No, I mean, it's great. It's to marketing, connect, but it's marketing, and that's we, where people are. You go where people are when you, with your message, but you also have to understand the rules. You've probably seen people who have their Twitter pages and their Facebook statuses linked, mm -hmm. and they're constantly updating their Twitter, which is fine if you follow Twitter. But for people on Facebook, that gets to be a little bit of an mm -hmm. overload, and they'll defriend yeah. you in a heartbeat. Yeah. A couple it's, of tricks. It's funny trick. how they have different cultures. E each, each medium has a different, you know, my, MySpace is kind of like going down. But, I mean, but Facebook yeah. has its own culture. LinkedIn has its own culture. And so does Twitter has its own culture. And so it's amazing. And I know for me that our show really wouldn't be where it is if it wasn't for social media and social networking. I mean, it's just, it's been a, it's been a blessing. I, you know, if we, we would be nowhere right. without it. These are exciting times for sure. They are so exciting. my future plans have to do with just helping people every chance I get. And I love Kansas City. I've made this my home for 15 years now. I plan to be here forever and Good. just continue raising my kids. and. That, you, kid, what I you just had one graduate. I have my baby just graduated from high school yeah. and heads off to college next month. Wow, how, how do you feel about that? I'm excited. Are I'm you? very excited. Yes. Um, See, you're 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 a big <laughs> woman. You like go get her. You, you go give out them there. roots and you yeah. give them wings and you watch them go. And them I'll hell. be here from the sidelines to to help shore her up where she needs it. She's ready. Yeah. Well, you got beautiful kids. Thank you, you very much. Kids. That's so. So, uh, if somebody needed PR help, just in case. Sure. Could they contact you? Please. ParisCommunications.com. Right. Right Paris is. with two R's. ParisCommunications.com is where you can find me. Or you can find me on Facebook or Twitter. You can definitely find or me on Or on Darren's Facebook. page. <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> Lori, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you so much. My pleasure. We'll see you again soon. Lori Roberts of Paris Communications. You're watching KansasCityAfterHours.com.